All right, now we had a bit of a problem. Fortunately, we came back straight into the game. Okay. The problems with League Client and Streaming League in general. They're just, it just freezes from time to time and stuff like this. Really rough. Alright, so into a real matchup we go. She has Conqueror and Inspiration. Which means a lot of sustain. Let's see how this lane will actually go. With Camille there are two pets on of uh, how you can actually level up. You can max your Q or your E. And as you can see, right now we won our first trade. Kind of crucial. Into being able to just force her to respect us. She has biscuits. She's not popping anything. Hmm. Now she plays defensively. Let's also not miss minions. Or at least try to. We are 10 to 0 in terms of CS. Still, no, 10 to 2. It's a good laning phase. Thank god that we actually managed to get this early jump on her. We are still poking her down. I wonder whether or not we can deny a cannon from her. We couldn't, but we managed to not get hit by a tower. Oh wow. Wow, I wasn't fast enough. I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> this is so... She still wants to deny me from CSing. Okay, she has no shield, which is good. Okay, she's going back. And she will probably just TP, yeah, she does. Okay. She goes straight for the armor. Adapt or perish. 
which case we probably we're probably just gonna go for Sheen first item. Let's wait a little bit more. Yes, so let's go. So as you can see we oh Okay, now this is really rude. It's not lies. Enemy has been slain. Like, I mean, he got the kill. At least he got the kill and not by really, but... Unfortunate. And he just camps there. Let's ping that the top is missing. And let's actually set up a freeze here. Alright, she has item advantage. Keep that in mind, especially if you want to start a fight. Question is, where is the enemy jungler? Alright. That's sad. Sad but not impossible to deal with. You just have to sit around tower now. I believe. Okay, she got a Vamp Scepter and Ruby Crystal. Is she going for Death's Dance? Now that she has double buff, this is actually going to be a bit of a even more problem. She wants to set up this freeze. And 
this. Not, not the great stink, I would say. Absolutely not the greatest. Now oh, she's getting fat. And that's actually against this team comp, it's threatening. Okay, this is so bad. Can't do much there, but at least I can be in the tower in order to get plates. But she also has the plates. Well. Can't really compete with that. The way. Oh boy, now instead of a fed I really I have to fight a fed bot. Yeah, I got two plates, but she also got two more plates and now my top tower is basically gone. What? Okay, and uh, now I have... I'm really... speechless there. Did he just while farming? Yes, yeah, so while farming he... Farming minions, he put me down to half HP. Fine. You have to respect that sort of damage. From an AD carry with one item. No, we cannot even force five there. Insane. Bike hooked me. While I try to E, progress is heard on necessary death. 
Right, slowly we have to work ourselves towards Trinity, because without Trinity we are basically useless. I wonder, yeah, I really is coming. Finally, a good shutdown. Basically, 900 gold. We're probably gonna lose Drake. Yeah, I only saw something when that when then that something happened. But it was a hook. And I believe in before in before In before Camille could not be st stunned or anything when she was using her E. Now like every mini skill stun is basically Yeah. We are almost at the Trinity Four stage. But I don't think that it really matters because Cassidy is starting. Yeah, he starts to get back into the game. Sometimes We really just have to stall the game until Vigar gets items and ability power. It's not a guarantee that we will... Okay. Yeah, she's fat. I get it. Even he is fat. Wow. Is there someone on their team who isn't fat? Yeah, but that's that's just about it. You either stall or try to. F like ideally, you have to capitalize from the enemy mistakes. like this and also not make mistakes like they will do now I have to buy ward yeah that's all op that opens up Baron 
I don't know if they were gonna go for it though. Yeah, they trolled. What? What is this range? Huh. Okay. Like I'm still, I, I cannot use to see those new champs. I have zero idea what what is going on. I have no idea what to do. It's like screen is... I can't understand what is this champion doing. Has like have so much weapons that do stuff. And unfortunately, our Draven just donates them dragon. Yeah, they have double infernal. They're just baiting. And I believe they are going to cut them. I have to kill Aphelios. This is solo Q catastrophe, by the way, at its finest. This Jin just died like four times in a row. Not Jin, Aphelios. Excuse me. So as you can see, like, yeah, we can actually stall the game enough to at least try and make a comeback.
Yeah, she's still stronger than me. Near the tower, I can outplay her. Oh, they are engaging. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, I'm speechless. But it's just that I need insane amount of focus here because I have no idea what the, what what is going on. So the game just went from absolute disaster to a possible win situation. We really need this dragon, by the way. That's why I'm going to go back. I'm... No. He prevented me from backing, but... Should I had ulti, I could have killed him. Are they doing Baron? We have to stop them. We have to at least try to steal this. Oh boy. Why oh why is this? <laughs> The idea was simple, just try to steal dragon. No. They instead just... We didn't need to force fight there. This is so what what I I seriously like sometimes I really start to not enjoy this Like we had such a great comeback only to lose it just because they decide to engage uh, unnecessary team fight instead of just capitalizing on enemy team mistakes and once again the Phileos was not focused what is this Draven and Kha'Zix just troll. Because it was such a great idea to just go into enemy red buff with no words, with enemy baron buff. Yeah, whatever. Oh, oh I can't, I can't really... 
Like I wanna teach. I wanna teach, but you can't teach. It's this Kazix and Draven. I'm going to give an honor to Vigar. So unfortunate. Once again, a winnable game that went to a complete loss. Usual League of Legends. And as you saw there, even though my lane went to a complete disaster, I believe it was 0 4 or 0 5, the comeback that I was still managed to get with those kills, with shutdowns, with. Yeah. Yeah, we are in our loose streak. For like 3 hours and 10 minutes we are losing every game today. It's just in games like that, where yes, we were like severely down behind, but then we managed to get so much possibilities. Yes, all the possibilities do not matter. Like so much possibilities for a comeback and we realize we use like so many of them. <laughs> Only to throw in the end. Great. Now as soon as we picked Garen, yep, it's Vayne top lane. He was changing between Darius and Vayne, and it's Vayne top lane. Yeah, I'm gonna shield go. Yeah, let's do this. It's going to be a brutal top beat down. I 
Once again, in solo queue, you don't want to be really reliant on a team because you really cannot be reliant on a team. But in situations where you get for well, let's say for example you pick Garen, you got yourself Vayne or a who else there can be a Queen or a Teemo you're just gonna get brutalized out of top lane and even with jungler help it's just it's not you that will gonna win it's you and the jungler that are going to win. Well. And it's not like in this game... Well, I'm going full tank anyway. It's not like I'm going to go full damage into team that can just kite and one-shot me. So full turtle mode. I would have liked to pick also like the defense tree, but then again I cannot pick how should I call it? I cannot pick grasp against range because there will be no way for me to proc it. Hopefully the Shaco knows what he is doing and uh, he will gonna try to get bot and uh, meet ahead. With Fat Casio and um, and Fat. Uh, basically doesn't matter how much kills I I will have okay she's gonna go to lane with slightly less HP She's not gonna go this way, will she? She won't. She leveled up Tumble first. In the king's name. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna start W. There is no way I'm going to do me even remotely do anything against her. Vayne... The thing is, Vayne can even counter Renekt on top. And he has double dash, stun, and... Yeah. But we are not playing Karenington, we are playing Garen. And in this situation, if you get yourself into a sticky situation like that, Do not push and just farm. Just farm like like your life depends on every last CS possible. You're not gonna kill your opponent, just farm. Okay. Try to... Try to basically block her... You see, she has pressed the attack and... Uh, whenever she shots three times, she shoots three times, she will proc her massive damage on you. When this happens, you just proc W.
Okay, now that's good. Now we can push. Great. She wasted TP, she wasted flash. And we gave her uh, Shaco got the kill, which is amazing. Hmm, actually, what's um, let's do this and let's do this. Wave is slowly going to be pushing towards me, so patience is advised. Never forget why we fight. No, I missed Ken. I should have just went for it. The wave is slowly pushing towards me. Great. Now, in order for me to set up a freeze, I have to cut this wave to where it's four minions, preferably four casters. Oh, like this, basically. Four minions. She went back. I'm gonna probably just go straight for the ninja tabby. No, she didn't went back. She was sitting whole time in that bush. Okay, Jarwan is camping our top really hard. And apparently, as, as you can see, like, Shaco got, uh, has almost 50... Almost 50 CS. Uh, but he's still... Yeah, mid. Uh, he's still... He still was down like a quarter of a level against Jarvan, who was just uh, camping. Alright, so with cannon you can set up a freeze with two minions and a cannon, because cannon is like two minions. Wave is going to be slowly pushing. Alright, so with boots... Wow. Also, she can all in me now. Pretty easily, by the way. Okay. 
think she will do it as... Okay. Let's push this in. I'm gonna miss some minions, but... It's better than her set up a freeze there. Let's see who heals she... I don't know. No. What am I doing? I need some fire still. Let's go back into the lane. I guess the good old get your laners ahead while top is 1v1 doesn't really work out. Yep. Oh well. Oh, through boots, through so much armor, she just slices with basically boots, longsword, and it's a dorm blade. And this is actually the point. Hmm. Well, that's sort of good. But the only cost that one kill will be equal at that of an ocean drake. I wonder does she have to be? Good. She wasted a TP there. But now she is working towards Blade of the Ruin King. Our deeds shape the future. I'm going to build full tank. Oh, this Jarvan is... Either they do not really pay attention towards where Jarvan is, or... I don't know. So in this situation, just as I said, you will be left to well, preferably would have been left to just 1v1. But you can't really. And then again, you will be reliant on your team because you will be building full tank.
At least they didn't die there. She knows. Imagine if that would be actually like a vain main. If it would have been main vein, that would be really something. Because here I don't. I have to go back. So as you can see, like the only thing that you do as, for example, Garen in this situation, well, endure it. Not much you can actually do there. I'm gonna buy Phage. Because I need a little bit of damage and movement speed. Wow, she hurts. At least I have some region. But once again, she also has it. So. How many cannons again have I missed? Also, imagine this vein actually winning. It's gonna be so sad. And should I have known that the lane would be like this, I would probably, I don't know, pick Ignite, but then again, it won't do anything. Yeah, she's not bad, but she's in a, such a perfect matchup for her. I have to help them. Can we like bring the wave or something? <sighs> this is also <laughs> uh, a bad move by me, by the way. I could have flashed. 
once again. Like, I get the die over extend, but. Okay. We are sitting on components, but the thing that we we're gonna probably buy will be a black cleaver. I'm taking down this tower. Because it's about time. Okay, I wanted to press R, but then again, not today. Yeah. Let's actually get Baron. It's okay, he cannot... Just focus on Baron. Once again, a Fiesta Incarnate. <laughs> this. <laughs> and once, ag once again, power of team. Finally, we are getting, we are getting at least somewhere. Yeah, I remember last game. Yeah, I remember. Hopefully we'll, we are not going to repeat the same thing. Uh, so, as far for items, um, I bought a cleaver uh, for a CDR and for armor shred. There is no point in going Triforce here, it's too expensive and it's not giving me any tankiness. Uh, next item is uh, going to be um, Rendering. I have to slow those AD carries. Lucian and Vayne. They're quite annoying to deal with. Also, this is a dragon that we would really like to get. His resistances and stuff. Okay. And this is where I failed. We can actually stall, stall it enough for me to get there. And the solution...
Yeah, so about that dragon. Hmm. God, I made so many mistakes. I made so much unnecessary mistakes that cost our dragon. Also, it's a uh, thing to remember that it doesn't matter how tanky I will be, Vayne will shred me, no matter what, through damage. have to go back and death. They are going. For the past couple of minutes, I've been more dead than alive. Should know. In there, jungler is alive, and he is near. And they have fiddle R. Now we can, but we are not. Why? Okay, a little bit of a pause there. Our next item we are going to be building towards Deadman. Oh, actually, no. 
Need this. Yeah, another Drake is gone. Yeah, so the tip is to at least, like, we have Baron now. We can either just pick up them, because Shaco is really fed. Or we can just group push with Shaco splitting. Yeah, so Shaco is... Uh, three people is going to be here. Yeah, as you can see, we can fast push them. And this is it, basically. Oh. By the looks of it, it's it. Rando and Solman on Vayne just proves that she doesn't need items to rely on. Well, we probably can... Oh, not really. Organic. Okay. No, we can, Dev. Yeah, we can, Dev. It's just that it gets harder and harder to actually do stuff. Vein with Randuin's uh, is something that you rarely will see. It means that she actually delayed her core build just for the sake of Randuin's. Why? What is this? We are going to finish it. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, hopes are not lost. First win of the day. Let's actually give an honor. There are so many people that worked like properly this game. It's actually crazy. Alrighty. 
so it's going to be it for today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this League of Legends series. Hope you had fun. I did. I tried my best. Now we will update uh, the schedule info and stuff. The ch little changes that we're going uh, to be doing uh, next time. Most likely, uh, Leak is not going to be present for the time being due to the problems that we are having while streaming it. Technical problems, that is. But yet still, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this series. Hope you learned something. Hope you had a great time. I will see you on the next stream. Please be sure to like, subscribe and follow us. Bye bye.